Hey guys, so I'm here with Tilly and I'm going to make a tutorial for you of how to make a magnetic pacifier. She's so tiny, she fits in this teeny tiny basket and she's sitting on the table. <laughs> Don't try this at home, your doll might fall. <laughs> but um, I'm going to show you what I've got here for supplies that I typically use. I've got the pacifier, of course, which um, this was one that I had that came with Toby that the magnet fell off, so the nipple was already cut off. But when you cut the nipple off, you wanna make sure you get down as close as you possibly can to the plastic. This is when the whole nipple's gone. I'm not entirely sure how the artist did that. But if there's still some little jagged pla uh, silicone or whatever sticking up, that's okay. I'm gonna try to get it as close as possible. Um, I've got a s square of felt, which you're gonna to wanna to put over the magnet afterwards to protect your doll's paint because these magnets are pretty rough and they will scratch and rub the paint off. So I use felt because it's cheap. You can buy like a sheet of it for 50 cents at Walmart. And um, the color doesn't bleed off them that I've ever seen. And um, you know, cheap, protect your paint. It's soft. You can probably use another type of fabric, but just make sure it's not going to bleed. Um, and there's my teeny tiny magnet. This is a super magnet, a neodymium. You can get them, I got mine at Home Depot. Um, they were eight of them in a package for between three and four dollars, which I thought was excellent. Um, now you gotta be careful with the, the neodymium magnets. Because these are super magnets, they are very strong, they can screw with people's pacemakers, they can, um, they can erase your hard drive on your computer, on your phone. So if you've got someone, if you have a pacemaker, someone in your household has one, I would not recommend using these. Just better safe than sorry. And don't like set your magnetic pacifiers on your computer or on top of your phone or anything like that because you don't want to risk um, erasing anything on your phone or messing it up. There's some, if you look up on YouTube, there are some pretty scary videos of what, um, the bigger versions of this magnet can do to electronics. It's very <laughs> frightening. So be really careful with these. If they're not for you, then you can use um, some white poster putty to attach your pacifiers. So for glue, I'm gonna use hot glue. And what I like about hot glue is that it dries really fast and I can easily just peel it off if I want to say switch the magnet side or or what have you, or use a magnet for a different pacifier. But you gotta be very careful not to burn yourself with hot glue. And it's not as strong of a hold as say the E6000, which is this bad boy right here. I have E6000 on hand, but I typically do not use it because I have um, some pretty bad asthma and this stuff, um, this the smell of it is very strong. You know, this is industrial strength adhesive, so this is it works excellent, but the smell is too much for me, and um, it takes, you should probably wait about 24 hours for it to dry before using it, and with the hot glue gun, you can wait like two minutes, and you can probably use it as soon as it cools. The type of glue I use for various things with the dolls is Gem Tac. Um, by the, you can get E6000 at most craft stores, I think. Gem Tac, same thing, you can get it at craft stores. This is the stuff that's normally used for like um, gluing gemstones on um, jeans and stuff like that. I bought it online, I think from Bountiful Baby. Because I didn't see it in any of my local stores, but that might just be where I live. <laughs> but this stuff, it doesn't smell anywhere near as strong as E6000. It's not as scary to me. <laughs> it's non-toxic. Um, it does take about 24 hours to dry as well. Um, and I don't feel like it's as strong as the E6000 either, but this is generally what I use for the inside parts of my babies versus the E6000. But you could probably use this for pacifiers as well. Just make sure that you wait 24 hours for the glue to dry. Oh, let's see if I forgot anything. I think that's about it. So I'm gonna set up my camera and I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so I got my magnet set up so you guys can see what I'm doing while I put the pacifier together. 
Um, first thing you want to do is figure out what side your doll's magnet is on. So I just take the magnet and stick it to her face. And then you can see where it sits and you can see what side. So you can take your pacifier from the side and look where you'd like it to sit on their face and you can tell where you should glue the magnet onto. So I just leave that sitting there and be super careful that you don't get glue on your doll while you're doing this. So that's why I got her <laughs> quite far away from where the glue is. So I'm just going to put it a pretty generous amount on the spot where I want the magnet to go. Very quickly grab my magnet, make sure to keep it on the correct side and stick it in my glue. Put a little bit more glue on top and around the sides. And just stick your felt over the top and push it down so it's covering the whole magnet. Now I did that super duper fast, but I'll hold it up close to the camera so you can see. It's one of the times I've done it and not hard myself. So I'll bring it up to the camera and show you what it looks like. Let's see the felt over the magnet to protect the paint. And then with the hot glue shortly after you can test and see if it's going to stick correctly. Your lips stick up kind of funky sometimes. I might need to move that one a little bit for her. Maybe up a little higher. With the hot glue, usually it's still kind of warm, so you can move it. And see then if it's not good with the hot glue. Just wait for it to cool and you can peel it off and then just do it again. And it's not gonna really hurt anything. So I guess that's it. Um, of course, if you were using the E6000 or the GemTap, you would have to wait 24 hours before you could even test to see if it fits correctly on your doll. So um, yeah, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Or um, you can contact me on my Instagram. I've got that on my YouTube profile as well. And yeah, I hope that was helpful. And then of course in the end it didn't even end up hitting her face, but oh well, live and learn, we'll try again. <laughs> so, thanks for watching guys, I'll see ya.